What we'd like you to do is to start off with a little bit of an exercise. We're going to refer back to this about every hour for the next couple days. So simply, and a lot of you did send this in to us in advance, but so it's right in front of you in black and white. We'd like you to write down, if possible, something that would be a primary goal or your primary goal for this year. Now, if you have multiple goals, that's okay. We, we don't want a list of 100 of them, but it's okay just to have right in front of you, these are the things this year I want to accomplish. Let's let, do that first. Before I, and I, I, this, it'll all, there's going to be a couple more steps, but just take a, a couple minutes. This is the list of goals. You should probably keep it manageable, three to six. Yeah, but right, let's just say everything, as always, everything should be done in groups of three to six. Let's segue in to, to the next phase of this is it could be the ones you have in front of you already, or it, maybe you need to add your list a little bit. If, what John talked about is the idea of like a final big goal, which I'm a large believer in, with, you know, I've seen this work for a lot of people. For most people, I just don't think it works. It's too vague. Having that, whatever the, the secret thing you're supposed to make, that board you look at every day. I mean, yeah, that's great, but when you're halfway there, you're going to realize you didn't want half of that stuff, and then you're, you're kind of as lost as you were the day you started. So I, I'm more a big believer in, like, okay, like, let, make it as concrete as possible. Work towards specific things. So if some of your goals are, are big things, and let's, I'm assuming most of them were, it makes sense to think through that that in, in, in and of itself is not step one. It's, it's too big of a thing to bite off all at once. So the next thing I'd like you to think about is as quickly as you can, and again, a three to six items in the list is the right number. What are the intermediate goals? What are the things you're going to have to do or produce or accomplish as reasonable stepping stones, tools on the way to that? So for example, if you want to make a million dollars online or $100,000 online on a website and you don't have a website yet, which is some of you are falling into that category because some of you have um, offline businesses and you're, you're here to learn a little bit more about doing things online, that's obviously a step. If you're worried about search engine optimization to get natural search of your website and you don't have a website, stop doing SEO stuff right now. Like, like put things in order. So. To take either one or two of your goals, again, this is, as John says, this is not meant to be a comprehensive list, nor is it the thing that you're, you're going to hold yourself accountable to. You may redo this Monday morning. But to take one or, or two of those goals and put down three to six, I would have to do these things. I do this and this and this and this, and that would be steps along the way. So just can take about two minutes and write down a few of those. If you're flying through that, there's a pretty good chance some of these things are pretty big. Do it again. Just either however, you know, spatially or indent. Feel free to take any of these things. Say, okay, in order to get a website, I would have to do a couple things. 